I don't know, it must be upstairs, but I need the slipper. So crazy with Thai people, like you, you, you make it very clear that right now this is a poetry and we just carry on with the fucking picking up the shit boxes, I don't matter, you know, it's just non-stop. Ah, okay, that's not what I came on here for. Um, so this is happening, I have got something specific I want to talk about. I've just done an awesome, well I actually recorded a video yesterday that I was going to do for YouTube. Uh, right before these people came in, or two days ago, right before they came in and told me where I was going wrong. So, oh wow, the fans as well, oh, this is a great delivery, we've got it all. Oh, we've got the printer as well, fuck me, it's all come at once. We have our own printer, we have fans, we have bar style refrigerators. Yes, 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 it is happening, woo! Um, oh my god, where is it? How have I lost my slipper? That's mental. So I've lost my slipper on my bad foot. Like literally in the last 30 seconds and it's just disappeared. Anyway, there's some crazy shit going on in Thailand that I want to discuss. Oh my god. Heck, it's got it. I've only been in the kitchen or behind there, man. Like, how, how do I lose a sticker? It's on my fucking fork, for fuck's sake. <laughs> oh, bless that cause. It's a good job as a patient, man. Mate, have you looked in the kitchen upset? I've just come from the kitchen, but I don't know why I'd have taken it off. Why would I take off my one slip on my bad foot? It just makes no sense. Okay, I'm going to get a glass because I've just made an awesome drink, which I was going to share with Eccles. Eccles, do you like, um, do you like food? Yeah, yeah cup and cup. <laughs> right, Eccles, this slipper is ridiculous. All right, well, you just have to keep searching, mate, because it's the most important thing. It's got to be upstairs. I must have taken it off upstairs. He doesn't go upstairs. Like, I'm not, like, Eck is amazing, don't get me wrong, but like, he's still Thai. <laughs> Fucking outside now, it's not outside, but. Okay, right, <laughs> fuck me, I'm getting stoned. Oh, we've got a customer, wow, how exciting. Hi there, welcome. Oh, I think she's a bit too scared. Sweaty car, hello? Not really, but you're very welcome to have a look. Or not, okay, no problem. Whatever faults your bow. <laughs> <laughs> what can you do? Um, yes, I think that's... was a bit zombie-ish. Uh, right, okay, so. Oh, wait, do you like this sort of thing? I knew you were going to say no. You can keep it in the fridge. Yeah, can you put my fridge for me, actually, mate? And where's my spliff? <laughs> Have I got a spliff? I've definitely got a spliff. Don't tell me I've lost my spliff as well, mate. Jesus. Oh, heck, it's all going Pete Tong. Oh, don't do this to me. Don't do this to me. I've got my drink ready. I've got everything ready. Okay, I found my spliff. Oh, God. All right, so after three minutes, 48 seconds of mania, let's get to what the video title is about. So yeah, I'm about to upload a video to Patreon. Once I've just checked so that other people can't see it, because I think at the minute anyone can see the videos I put on Patreon, which seems to defeat the purpose a little bit. Or quite a lot, in fact, in fact completely. So I just need to solve that, and then I'm going to upload a hard-hitting Deep video! I'm so glad I didn't put it on YouTube because, oh my god, people are going crazy right now. Uh, so, so I heard four months ago, five months ago, the Thai government were thinking of doing some crazy thing, but it'll never happen because obviously they'll realize that it's crazy and, you know, don't fucking worry about it. You know, I've been sat with an expat today, a 20 year expat in Pai, and he is like, Anxious. <laughs> not not in life, like he's a very, very well-rounded, whole, beautiful man. So much so, he's not on my YouTube. <laughs> that's when you know very good if you're not on my YouTube. No, that's not true, there's some very good people on YouTube too. And he's saying that he's a, a living Thailand. 
And I'm like, oh, why are you doing that? What horrible thing has made you have to do that? I'm like, why on earth would you do that? And he explains to me that as of the 1st of January 2023, if you're, if you are in Thailand as a foreigner for six months or more, you are classed as a resident and you are liable to tax of 20 percent or maybe yeah i think it's 20 percent of any money that you bring into thailand you have to pay 20 percent on and if it's more than i think 300 000 baht it's 30 percent um so I reckon, I have no idea what I spent, but you know, I must have spent a million, 1.5 million baht. So you know, they're gonna want 400,000 baht off me. So that's like 10 grand, you English. Well, now, so this is where I'm like, okay, so why are they doing this? Like, so obviously, yeah, they're gonna make a lot of money in the next six months, 12 months, especially seeing as they haven't really told anyone. I mean, they have, you know, they have, apparently they have released it, but no one really knows. Like no one said anything to me until today. And this has been going on for four months now. So I think what's happening is, in two months' time, expats are going to try leaving the country and they're going to get to the airport and they're going to, you know, they're going to tilt it up because it's basically whatever you take out of an ATM, they know. So, I mean, I know my friends don't know because I've been putting money into their account. Maybe taking out of an ATM for me. If they knew that that was going to go towards their three hundred thousand threshold, they would not be doing that. So these are my expat friends that have lived here for fucking years, like they don't know, or they don't know but it's happened, like they would have heard about it, because even I heard about it when I first got to Thailand, but... Anyway, so after that conversation, I walk in here and that goes, how long are you planning on staying in Thailand? Like he'd heard about it, and then he was asking me the details, and like, so here's the question. I can only see two possible thinkings behind the Thai government, because obviously, People with money don't like giving it to governments. Like, why do they think we left the West? We left the West for many reasons, but I would say one of the main ones is because we swapped in, because the government started taking too much money off us. So anyone who made any money and had anything about them left. We're like, no, 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 no. We're not giving our money to governments, particularly tyrannical ones. We'll go uh, where they don't take money off us, thanks. So a lot of us chose Thailand, amongst many other places. So now the Thai government are bringing in a law that is going to make us all leave. Because, I mean, so either they are so stupid that they don't realise that people with money don't like paying tax. And therefore we think we're all just going to sit here and pay the tax. Like, that's definitely not going to happen. We will definitely leave. 90% of people with money will leave. And all they'll get left with is the scroungers. They'll just get left with the people who teach online, the people who hand out flyers, the people who, like, hand to mouth that aren't contributing to Thailand. Like, yeah, they're contributing in some ways, maybe, but, you know, financially, which is all Thailand gives a fuck about, I'm realising more and more every day. Um, they don't contribute shit. And yet the people that do, so the people like me who are creating jobs and investing in the country, they're going to force us out. That's just madness. So the only, so either they're just so stupid they don't understand that, or they think that they're just putting a scam, basically. They're just going to do it for 12 months, catch a load of people who don't find out about it. Not catch, trick, scam, rob. A load of people who don't find out about it when we get to the airport. Then everyone kicks off about it, and then we go, oh, okay, we're not doing that anymore. But in the meantime, they've got, like, millions of bar off the load of expats. It's one of those two things. Like, I don't believe they can be that stupid. I don't believe they cannot realise that we're all going to leave. So I can only believe that they're just going to scam us for a year if we don't find out about it and then drop it. Which just makes me not want to be here anyway. It just makes me think, well, fuck you, I'll go to a country that's, um, you know, encouraging expats to invest their money there. Which I thought Thailand was, which is, you know, why I did it. And now I find out that I have to leave in two months. Or pay a £10,000 tax. I mean, to be honest, it's probably worth me paying the £10,000 tax to be able to run my business, but I don't pay tax. I don't do that. Like, not stupid, not, not, not scammy, cunty taxes like that, you know? I don't mind contributing my fair share, but not if it's just, like, some, like, horrible law that's been brought in just clearly to scam people. Like, I'm not, I'm not playing that game, no fucking way. 
You know, I'd rather cut my losses now, fuck off, lose the money I've invested and, and start again in a country that, um, that wants to support me, that actually wants my money and doesn't want to just take my money, you know, but actually wants to, you know, allow my money to flow through it to help the people rather than just being lobby. Oh, the tiger's left. The tiger just disappeared for a few hours. Um, so yeah, I'm getting to, I'm, I'm, oh man, I was just saying to Eric, like, I need to pest, he's really fucking depressed, there's no toys about that. Um, yeah, I don't mind depression, I understand depression, I can, I can deal with depression. Uh, what was I saying to Eric? I was saying that, you know, I really like him, I really want to support him. Oh yeah, that was it, but this morning he was making me stressed, like this morning I was getting stressed at his lack of fucking... Yeah gumption and willpower and anything other than an amazing body. Um, and I said to Eric, you know, I want to persevere with him and I want to learn to get more patient and I want to learn to, I want to get to a point where he doesn't stress me out. That would be the ideal case scenario. But if I can't get there or if he's just too much of a twat, then he has to go because nothing's worth me being stressed. If I'm stressed, my next stressed and if I'm stressed and everyone's stressed and Basically, if I was stressed, everyone's stressed. It's simple as that. Um, so, yeah, nobody's worth that. No, helping him is not worth that. However, I hope that he is going to improve, and I'm also going to improve at a rate that is fast enough for it all to work out nicely. And I can continue to look at his six pack and pets. So yeah, it's absolute madness. Absolute madness on behalf of the Thai government. Oh, we're going to get these refrigerators out then. It's exciting, isn't it? You excited, Tiger? Don't get too excited, Tiger. Look at Tiger getting so excited. He just cannot contain himself. Right. I'm being funny, aren't I, Eric? He doesn't know I'm being funny. <laughs> right. These are going back there. Right, so first, Eric. Can you tell Tiger he needs to move, actually two of you together, if you move the silver ones into the kitchen, so the ones that are there now, they're going into the kitchen. I'll show you where. And you might as well, actually you might as well empty them. Yeah, get everything out of them. And just, I don't know, stick it there. And then obviously the bottles are going to go back into those new fridges. Right, so those three fridges are going one, two, three, bang, straight along here, yeah, yeah, yeah. And all the bottles in these fridges are going to go inside them. So job one, remove bottles. Yeah, bottles out, job one, yeah? Ooh. Uh, Everything that is in those fridges comes out. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So those fidgets are empty, yeah? Once they're empty, they go here. One, two. Yeah? You want to put three here, two here? Yes. And you want here? Yes. That's exactly what I want, Eric. Thank you. Now, my understanding is you don't plug fidgets in straight away. You have to leave them for four hours when they're being moved. So we just move those fidgets, but we do not plug them in until tomorrow. Well, I'll do it tonight when I leave tonight, and then we'll be ready for tomorrow. Take out of the box, put there, but do not plug in. And then also, Eck, I need you to take those plugs back today because we need, we're going to need those extensions to get these fidgets working. You know, those, those shit extensions with the three points of itself where no one's got three points on any of the plugs in Thailand. Yeah, those ones. Um, okay, let's go. I think it's going to get hot. I think Tiger should take his top. No, no, I'm joking. I'm joking. I don't say things like that anymore or even think like that. Oh, clearly I do. So, okay, this is really exciting. Really exciting. I'm a little bit scared, but they look hot. They look, they look like they are going to cover up the bottom of that window, but I don't think they will. I think it's just a box, because I did measure them. John Kelly, most ties don't want foreign competition. They want tourists to come and spend money and go home, mate. Hence the goal. Oh, okay. So it, there is actually some thinking behind it. So they they don't want expats creating businesses. 
Okay, so I'm not talking about Thai people. I'm talking about Thai government, obviously. I feel like the Thai government do want it. That's creating businesses because they want people paying tax and they want good businesses. And, you know, again, I don't know if they're stupid or not. Like, I'm trying to work it out. But, like, presumably they know that Thai people don't really create good businesses for their jokes. Like. So that just seems stupid as well. Oh, 5% battery. Yeah. Oh, very money, stupid money. if you ask me. Money, money, slipper, slipper. I just want to fucking slip and eat. I don't give a fuck about money right now. Oh, wow. Why is that? What's happened? That's disappeared. What have I asked for there again? Oh, yeah, you're doing that now. Okay. Everything has to come out of that project. I don't know how much clearer I can be. Why have I come here? What does I fucking want? Oh, my God. I'm so fed up with this. What did I just get up for? Did you want some money? What did you want? What the fuck is going on? Alright, I'm going. What's the reality, reality of Thailand recriminalizing weed with Well, again, I, I mean, I, I'm giving up on trying to understand Thailand. Um, but my understanding is, of course, the workers all to care about his money. So, again, it'll just be a membership card or something like that that happens. But yeah, maybe I'm wrong, maybe they will. And, and destroy themselves even more. Like, I don't know. Do they want? I don't know. I don't, I, don't, I, don't, I don't get it anymore. I don't get what they're trying to do. Not rational at all, mate. The ideology behind it really, it really has they learned so much. That doesn't make sense. Not rational at all, mate. The ideology behind it really has they learned so much. That makes sense. I think he's agreeing with me. Neat. I'm getting kicked out of Thailand. Let's cheers, Nick. Just cheers to that. I'm going to assume he didn't know what I said. He definitely didn't know what I said. I mean, I don't think the Thai people are even fucking going to be happy about it. The Thai people want to expect it, don't they? I know there's been a lot of press recently about, like, you know, a Swedish guy kicking a doctor or some dickhead expert doing this or whatever. But and obviously, it's not like in the West where we go, oh, well, it's institutional racism and it's our fault. Let's punish ourselves and give them loads of money. No, no, here we go. Well, let's kick those motherfuckers out and, you know, respect our country. We don't inflict, inflict racism on themselves like we do in the West. And then employ fucking white mayors and prime ministers to bring in all their white buddies and change the world, uh, change the country and... Bring in a completely different kind of law. It no longer respects the nationals and respects the white people. Can you imagine that? Can you imagine a country that did that? UK. Why are all our leaders Asian? What are you trying to show me? I need to show you something upstairs, but I've got some fucking stuff. It's insane. How do you use the slippers on your foot? Cool. Oh, let's put a sock on. That's the wrong stick on me, but... Okay. Comma between the valley and... As the fuck say. I don't think that makes sense, either. Not that's not all, mate. The ideology behind it really... As they'd learned so much. Thanks, John. Helpful, mate. Top contributor, you are, aren't you? Oh, look at you, Arthur. We had a good chat this morning, didn't we, John? That's how we had to catch up. Phil being on some Thai politics, peoples, and bullshit. Okay, you ready to see something exciting? John, you're going to love this. Are you ready? I give up too. <laughs> <laughs> okay, this is really exciting. Why is that one yellow? Nee, can you see the problem? Why is that yellow? Yellow. Are you crazy? That's obviously meant to be green. Oh, that one's meant to be green. Yes. Oh. Oh. 
Anyway, I get my fuck up. Um, seems to be having a lot of fuck ups nowadays. But this looks fantastic. You can't really see it on the camera, but it looks so good. I'm so happy we did this. Big up to Toff for coming up with this one. And big up to me for following it through and doing it. And then putting it all over the rest of the house as well. Less of a big up to me for losing my fucking slipper though. Where the fuck is it? Oh, it's there. Why is it up there? That makes no sense. I don't remember trying to swap anything. Okay, so, yeah, so, yes, it makes me realise we need them over there as well. And there, we need them everywhere, basically. I love them. So that's good. And then we've got painting things you shouldn't paint, boy, but actually should paint up here. Ooh. So, yes. He's been painting the doors, a nice paint the ceiling. Everybody is feeling good about that. Okay, so I think I've done ranting about uh, spend money and go home. That's it in a nutshell. So you think that's what we want. They don't actually want people like me investing and creating business. They just want people to come and spend money. Maybe. Seems daft to me. It seems, why would you want to force out the people that are like living here and investing in the country and building it and creating it? Like, makes no sense. It makes no sense from a wanting money and wanting to see growth point of view. Obviously, it makes a lot of sense if you just want to keep Thailand beautiful and full of ice fields, which I'd fully support. And if that's the case, I'll leave. You know, if that's what we want, I'll fully, fully respect that. And I will leave because that is beautiful. But I don't think that is what we want. I think we want lots of money. And I think they want to... And I've heard they've just given up on Pattaya. Apparently, they've, just, like, they've been trying to keep Pattaya kind of tight. But they've just gone, fuck this. Let's just let it be a horrible sex town. And, you know, take all the tie out of it. Like, I don't quite know how they've been, you know, they've been trying to certain laws, maybe, for example, uh, you know, to try and keep some sort of level of respect there. But my understanding is they've just said, okay, let's just let the tire go, you know. Um, so, you know, they are willing to sacrifice Thai stuff for money. I mean, I agree with that decision. I think the tire is such a hellhole, there's no point even trying. The tourists have destroyed it. I'd Happens everywhere. So in Bali now, I mean, it's not. As, I don't think it's disgusting as Pai Taya, but it's um, you know you're not got any Baliism in there anymore. Balis. Well, I don't know anymore, mate. It, well, it's going to be. I'm going to chart it astro astrologically, and the the stars are going to decide the date. Uh, but it's basically when the tourists come back. I don't know, mate. I don't even know when the toys come back, but not till June or July, I don't think. There's no point. Like, there's no point being open until then. Uh, there's no toys here. And all the town hate me, so. We're done until September, I think, or June or July, whatever. Unless these two people want to get on board and want to create this amazing thing, but I don't know, man. Like. But then, oh yeah, but then one of these two people now has to leave the country because of this bullshit that I'm talking about. So it's all, it's just fucked up, you know. Um, yeah, so maybe, you know, what isn't going to happen is I'm not, you know, I am going to honour the agreement on this place no matter what, so I will take this house on and just rent it out to someone else if I have to, but then they're going to have the same problems, so I don't know. I don't know. But I'm not paying, I'm not paying tax because of some country law, like, it's a horrible, like, it's horrible, it's, it's, it's really sneaky how they've done it, um, and it's just not good, it's just not not just, you know, it's just getting taxed for spending more, like, yeah, I mean, it's like you're getting taxed for contributing the most, like, the more you contribute, the more you get taxed. Nah, that's shit. I'm not, I'm not supporting that bullshit, I'm really not. So maybe it's back to South America, plan A. Paraguay is very good tax-wise. I think Mexico is pretty good. Get citizens. Oh shit, 2% battery. Fuck me. Uh, oh, yeah, that was about to happen. I remember. Slippery shit happened. Oh, I see that, guys. 